So this is what we're doing today. We're doing a stamped concrete pad. And uh, it's very inclined here, right? So it's like this. So what we had to do was dig down this front, like it's a retaining wall kind of, down to solid. So even though there's a little bit of bark on top of that right there, that's down to solid. And uh, other than that tiny little bit of bark, that's down to like a sandy, um, semi-solid. So that's what we did was we dug down to where we could get it solid or mostly solid and then dug down right here to where it's definitely down to solid ground. And then we built our forms around that and that's going to be like a little retaining wall and it's going to keep this from sinking is our plan. And then we're doing some uh, four by four or six by six, whatever that is, wi welded wire mesh. Um, and this isn't anything super structural. It's for a landing for some stairs that we're going to be putting down here. Um, and then what we did was we actually strung off that edge of the deck. See that? Right? String line is a carpenter's best friend. So I made sure that those two beams right there were in line with each other, at least like, you know, um, totally reasonable. And then from there, I ran a string right here. So I just barely bumped that and I know I'm straight and I held that and then Aaron went down here We had these marks right here This is three inches So we added, you know a little bit of wiggle room on these About roughly three inches to each side and we strung that off of here to find this side Right and then this side we swung square to that and then we double checked it that we were within an eighth of an inch or so of square from here to here dimensionally right and that locked us in right here uh square dimensional and in line with the uh edge of the deck right so that's where we're at right now uh we're gonna take lunch and then we're gonna come back and we're hand mixing today this is less than a yard it's not that big of a deal it's gonna be something about 40 bags give or take of the 60 pound bags of uh, quick creep um, and so that's what we're doing and we made sure that this is out of level just a hair you know by a hair i mean about a quarter inch per foot right which is standard for flat work so we're hugging the bubbles hugging that side of the level right i can see it touching that second line and then same thing right here touching that second line and then this edge right here should be real close to level and i can make one more adjustment if it's not but that's real close to level see that i'm a hair off which means this side's just a touch low but that's fine for me for what we're doing um it's imperceptible to the eye um, but it's good for moving water off of our surface right we don't want standing freezing water on our concrete uh in the winter time uh where people are walking uh, especially on a stamp pattern that's going to have a little bit of canyoning in it i would call it um so we're trying to be conscious of that and just try to move this water out and down the hill right we're going with the natural flow of the water down the hill and then our stairs are going to come from right here and land right there so that's where we're at i'll get more video uh of the stamping process as we start to get it stamped Signing out for lunch.